Robert Sessions Woodworth, October 17, 1869, July 4, 1962, was an influential American academic psychologist of the first half of the 20th century. He studied under William James along with such prominent psychologists as Letta Stetter Hollingworth, James Roland Angel, and Edward Thorndike. A graduate of Harvard and Columbia, his textbook Psychology, A Study of Mental Life, which appeared first in 1921, went through many editions and was the first introduction to psychology for generations of undergraduate students. His 1938 textbook of experimental psychology was scarcely less influential, especially in the 1954 second edition, written with Harold H. Schlossberg. He is known for introducing the stimulus organism response, SOR, formula of behavior. A review of General Psychology Survey, published in 2002, ranked Woodworth as the 88th most cited psychologist of the 20th century, tied with John Garcia, James J. Gibson, David Rumlehart, Louis Leon Thurstone, and Margaret Floy Washburn. Woodworth was born in Belchredown, Massachusetts on October 17, 1869. His father was a Congregationalist minister who had graduated from Yale College and Yale Divinity School, and his mother was teacher who had graduated from Mount Holyoke College. Since Woodworth's mother was his father's third wife, he grew up in a large family with children from each of his father's marriages. His father's approach to parenting was authoritative and strict. He attended high school in Newton, Massachusetts with the plan of becoming a minister. He received his A.B. degree from Amherst College in 1891, focusing on religion, the classics, mathematics, science, and history. During his senior year, Woodworth took a class in psychology by Charles Edward Garman, which caused him to change his future plans. Rather than becoming a minister, he taught mathematics at a high school for two years and at a college for two years in Topeka, Kansas. Following his stint as a teacher, Woodworth attended a lecture by G. Stanley Hall, and he was enthralled by Hall's emphasis on the importance of discovery through investigation, p. 374. The lecture had such a profound effect on Woodworth that he hung a sign labeled investigation over his desk at home. He then read James's Principles of Psychology and he had a similar captivating experience to many other students interested in psychology of the time. He decided then to finally follow a career path in psychology. In 1895, he returned to college as an undergraduate student at Harvard University, studying philosophy with Josiah Royce, psychology with William James, and history with George Santana. Here at Harvard, he met Edward Lee Thorndike and Walter B. Cannon, and the three became longtime friends. While working with James, he encouraged Woodworth to keep a dream diary. The two were not able to find a significant correlation between the content of one's dreams and the day's events. However, Woodworth noted that he often dreamed about incomplete or interrupted topics and events later emphasized by Bloom Z. Garnick with a Z. Garnick effect. In 1896, Woodworth earned his bachelor's degree from Harvard, followed by being an assistant at the Harvard Medical School and the Physiology Department from 1897-1898. Here, he observed Cannon's experiments on hunger and emotions. James McKean Cattell offered Woodworth a graduate fellowship at Columbia University one of the two primary functionalist schools in psychology. In 1899, Woodworth earned his Ph.D. under Cattell. His dissertation was entitled Accuracy of Voluntary Movement.